perfect all right so now let's see how to add some simple beautification let's see how to add a simple color to it so it's going to be something like this so we have to first of all store that particular stuff so npm store dash dash save or npm store chop or you can use color in your then dash dash save right so it's going to save it and then let's see how to do it first to save it so it's going to be like this so cons then chop We're going to require it. So require chalk. So chalk is very very powerful and very simple to use. So the basic idea of working with chalk is that you're just going to specify the particular color that you want it to be. Right? So let's see something like this. So we have here. Yeah, let's use the say something here. So console.name. So we want to make print the name very well. Just finish it done. Let's see how to print the name very well. So to print the name, well, it's going to be like this. You can make it like chalk, right? Dot. I want it to be white. I did the test itself. White dot background. The background I want it to be red. And then that's all. So I pass it inside this particular function. Perfect. So chalk, I'm telling chalk that write this particular test here. Right? With a white background, with a white test, but with the background of red. So if I save it and I run it here, so load. Our CLI.js, then let's say, say David. So now David is in red, right? So the background is red, and then the test itself is red. In case I change this one to, let's say, white to black, I run it, so that it's also going to run this thing, going to give us black. So that black is not clear, so the best one is white. <laughs> Perfect. So that's one way. So in case you want to also make it bold, I can also add dot bold to it. Dot bold. Right? Just dot bold. Then it goes straight away to this. So now it is bolder. So that is how it is. It's very, very simple and very easy to work with. I can make it like this. Let's add another command there. And then instead of making it as chalk dot white dot bold, I can actually make it like without this. Right, chop dot white, then it's already white, so let's make it mm, green. Let's make it something a very color yellow, right? Perfect. So if I save it here and I run it, now it's going to print the first one and going to print the second one. So that the second one is now yellow. Very simple and very easy to use. Very, very interesting. Okay, so that's how to add interesting colors to your CLI. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can just put it in the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.